I'm really uh, honored and just humbled to be here with everyone today. Um, I, this uh, Peckham is a really amazing institution, and I want to acknowledge that. I also want to acknowledge the fact that um, so many Peckham team members um, contribute um, by serving um, alongside us in state government. And I actually want to give a special shout out to Derek and Asha, who uh, do specific work on the floor in the Romney building on the second floor where my office is. I just, I can't thank you enough. I, everyone, they, they always see them with a smile, myself, my team, and I just want to thank them uh, for their commitment and their hard work and their energy um, and just how they bring a smile to my face every time I see them. Um, I just want to, uh, you know, let folks know that we are in this really crazy time um, and Governor Whitmer and I, I want you to be confident that we're doing everything in our power to do what I believe are our primary responsibilities, which is to protect and promote public health, to protect and promote public safety, and to create the conditions for everyone in every community to have a chance to pursue happiness, to be as successful as they can be, to make them, to make it real for people to be able to be their best selves here in Michigan, and to provide as many pathways as possible for that for people in our communities. And I think Peckham plays a role in making that true and making that possible and available to people in different stations of life, people from different um, groups of races or ethnicities or people with different levels of ability. And I think you should be proud of that role. This has been, this, this role has been exacerbated or has really been highlighted in a much bigger way because of the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, none of us have ever lived nor led through anything like this. And so we're all trying to figure it out as we go. But I think what's important in making sure that um, we're able to make choices that are truly in the best interest of the state is we're making choices that we believe are truly in the best interest of people because our people are our only resource that matters. Our people are our, our most valuable, valuable asset in the state of Michigan. And we need to make sure that our people are healthy. We need to make sure that our people are safe. We need to make sure that our people are confident that when they leave their homes or they send their family members or their children outside of their homes, that you're going to be safe if you have to go to the store, you have to go to work, you have to get on the bus, that we are creating the conditions for people to be safe because so much of our system and our society and our communities are built on this implicit assumption that it's safe to do stuff, that you're not going to get sick or you're not going to you know, be in harm's way when you're doing things. And that's been put at, into question due to COVID-19. So every decision that we're making, whether it is trying to ensure uh, worker protections and workplace protocols to mitigate the risks uh, that are inherent in certain job functions, whether it is making sure that public transportation has protocols for people to be safe, whether it's the man, the, uh, the the order for people to mask up and to wear masks whenever they are outside of their home indoors or whether they're outdoors and are not able to be uh, physically distant from other people who are not members of their households, whether it is making sure that people have access to to the testing that they need to um, know their status on COVID-19 and then to get the help from a primary care physician or a navigator to connect people to other services and resources. Um, we just want to make all these resources available to people everywhere because, you know, we all may know people who have contracted the virus or some who have passed away. I've lost a number of people in my life, 23 to be precise. Um, and I believe that in every single one of those people's honor and in the name of the more than uh, of the thousands of people who unfortunately have lost their lives um, in the state of Michigan, I think we have a responsibility to do the best that we can to try our hardest to make sure that we're doing everything as individuals um, to, to slow the spread and as communities to slow the spread. I've been looking in particular at uh, both the economic impact as well as how this virus and the pandemic overall has impacted communities of color. And the Task Force on Racial Disparities has uncovered a number of truths and has really shown a light on some of the things that were true before the pandemic in terms of access to health care and um, uh, negative health outcomes or, or, or uh, more negative health outcomes for communities of color. 
and we're trying to work on how we can address that in real time you know how we can do those worker protections or um, how we can make sure that that we just have resources available to people in communities that are valued that are um, vulnerable but we also want to connect to the longer term work on reducing racial disparities and that includes things like uh, providing access to educational opportunities making sure people have doctors making sure that job training programs are available and accessible to people making sure that doctors are actually located in the places where people live um, especially for vulnerable communities uh, putting more resources for behind federally qualified health centers, making sure people have better access to high quality, healthy food that is affordable. Um, these are the things that we are, are working on. And so we're doing our best um, and we appreciate everyone uh, knowing that they have a role to play in our state response. This, isn't, this is not something that is reserved for only people in state government or who work in state government have a role to play. We all have a role to play as people who call Michigan home. And so I also want to thank everyone for, for doing their best to try to work with us in terms of the different executive orders that we've put out that have been in the interest of public health and public safety. Um, we have access to some of the best information and some of the most gifted and talented and experienced professionals when it comes to public health and, and uh, infectious diseases in the world uh, here in the state of Michigan helping to inform inform us and so um, we can work together we can mask up and we can do what we need to do to slow the spread so that it is safe for us to engage in activities um, that we miss and that we're used to um, so I, I just want to um, really from the bottom of my heart on behalf of myself of Governor Gretchen Whitmer of all of us in state government and all of us in the state of Michigan, just want to um, thank you for being a great corporate citizen, Peckham as a company, and to thank all of your employees and team members for being the the, the people who are really kind of the salt of the earth here in the state, um, who work hard every day, who love their family, who love their community, and who are, are doing their very best to be their best selves here in Michigan and know that I have your back and always will. And I want to just, just leave you with a thought that, um, there's dignity in the work um, that uh, Peckham is doing, that your team members are doing. And um, I, I want you to remember that. Um, I think that during this time of, of COVID, we have seen more uh, messages and statements and demonstrations of appreciation of people who are doing different types of uh, work and providing different types of services. That's something that I hope that we carry with us as a culture through this pandemic and keep with us once we are ultimately beyond it, um, whenever that may be. Because uh, if we are willing to treat one another with the level of dignity and humanity and respect that we all should have as people, um, I think that leads to a much healthier uh, community and a much healthier culture, one that's more resilient to the dangerous politics that sometimes gets inserted into some of our conversations. And so I want you to know that I thank and respect and admire um, the work that your team members are doing. Um, you're making important contributions to the state of Michigan and our current and future uh, success and prosperity. And um, I, I can't wait to continue to grow and to build with all of you. So thank you very much and, and, and know that you have a friend in the Lieutenant Governor of Michigan.